Good morning, Mark Gordon with the Gold Report. This is Wednesday, March the 14th, 2012, and uh, today we had a nasty gap down. This is the GLD, the Gold Exchange Traded Fund. Uh, we're down about 1.5%. Uh, um, gapping down uh, this morning, yesterday we closed below this black dotted line, which is the 200-day moving average. Not a good sign. Traders don't like that. Um, perhaps this is in reaction to that. Um, so not a good opening here. Um, we did... Uh, uh, get down or right now uh, coming down against this lower trend line I drew a line past uh, uh, along these previous lows here and we are now back down at that level you also notice this gray area here uh, we are at the lower end of the lower Bollinger Band here and <clears throat> the Bollinger Bands are designed to keep prices within them 95 percent of the time so this is a mathematical algorithm traders watch this um, so we are kind of in uh, an oversold area here. We should get some support here, hopefully, and uh, maybe rally back up to this upper trend line here, uh, which would take us at about the 163 level, 163 level. Uh, right now, uh, we are at the, about the 160 level. And uh, moving on down to some uh, indicators here, this is the MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Uh, the black line is the faster moving average and the blue line is the slower. Uh, we did get across here at the end of February to the downside, uh, putting pressure uh, on, on the market here. Um, <clears throat> you'll also notice uh, this uh, uh, orange line here is relative strength uh, against the S&P 500. That is weak, going actually into new lows here. Um, so gold uh, acting weak against stocks. Stocks uh, have been rallying here for several months. Um, and uh, also uh, we look here at the stochastics. Uh, this is a momentum indicator um, and uh, it is down in the oversold area, which is actually a good sign. Uh, oversold right now. Uh, so let's see what happens here. And moving on now to a weekly chart of the GLD. Uh, we're down about 3.8% uh, on the week and I drew a trend line here on the weekly lows. You can see this, uh, this downtrend that we're in slicing through these key moving averages here, the uh, 40, 20, and 10 week moving averages. Uh, next stop on the weekly chart is about the 162.68, one, I'm sorry, 152.68, 152.68, the lower Bollinger Band on the weekly chart. Um, <clears throat> and of course we have this channel downward sloping channel in order to break this downtrend we would need to get uh, up above this upper channel line here uh, uh, so let's see what happens here uh, we are going through a sell-off we never know how low these will go uh, perhaps we come down and retest 148.27 148.27 uh, moving on down here to the moving average convergence divergence, the MACD. A lot of traders follow this, especially the weekly one, the more long-term traders. We had a bullish cross uh, in February to the upside. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, index had made uh, new lows uh, on the longer-term uh, blue moving average here, and uh, we got across to the upside. That's usually a very good sign. Traders look at it as a good sign if you get across to the upside by the slower uh, by the faster term moving average after the slower term has made new lows uh, that doesn't seem to be working out we are back down below it the black line has crossed back under the blue line uh, reversing itself uh, so uh, perhaps uh, uh, by the end of the week we could reverse this but uh, not looking good in that respect uh, also uh, on the weekly uh, uh, stochastics uh, we actually got into the overbought territory and now we're correcting back on that and the trend of the stochastics on the weekly chart is down so uh, uh, indicators uh, uh, show that uh, GLD the gold ETF is in a downtrend now we don't know how low this will go but uh, let's see what happens thanks for watching